Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tommy with another cast from the South Korean ladder and a very interesting one given the fact that Flash once again is deciding here to play Zerg. So not his Terran matchup as his opponent here in the lower left as the red Zerg and his opponent here in the lower right in the blue. It is Beyond. This is the real Beyond from the StarCraft 2 scene. Beyond JJ Yuk duo. Very interesting name here. Could be the real Beyond. We're about to find out. It is deciding here to play the uh, Protoss actually on the four spawn link location map with a very nice ramp here moving forward. Placing his pylon, I believe, very, very far out in order to create a wall of very soon. So, of course, we do have the production tab here in the upper left part. We're going to be checking out the build orders, and we see actually the Protoss very likely indicating to us that he wants to wall off here in order to create a wall to protect his expansion. Let's have a look at Flash. Still creating one overload. I believe he's going to go into more and more drones. So it should be one overload into two drones very soon for him. A pretty standard build order, but actually, hold on here. He's going for a fast spawning pool. So, an interesting build order. Usually, the Zergs like to go into more, more drones and then go for a hatchery first. However, this time, Flash deciding to go spawning pool first. The game continues as we have a forge now getting created here by the Proto. So, very nice. Uh, macro oriented game very nice economic oriented game here by him as he's also scouting the map very early with two probes and now finally arriving here into the main from flash going to be seeing the fast spawning spawning pool by him and with that i believe he's going to be forced into going into at least one cannon perhaps even two in order to defend this artificial wall of fear as money should be available for him to go for the first cannon so the spawning pool is going to be finished very soon here for zerg for flash and very soon we will be seeing very likely some cannons for the protoss either that or he's going straight into a nexus so quite a greedy gameplay he needs to be careful with this as some zergings will be on their way very soon at 150 i believe he's going to be having enough minerals for the first cannon and with that he should be okay in a very far out hatchery here for flash, as the first cannon is also getting added here by the protoss a very good um, economic gameplay here by him Going to take of course some time for those zerglings to arrive here for the main from Rotos and we actually see flash going into another expansion the probes of course gives important information however taking quite some damage and even blocking the hatchery right here very smart move here by beyond as one cannon will also be finishing here on time to inflict damage to us this one zergling even one gateway here to stop the entrance so very smart move indeed as the hatchery has to be replaced a little bit here by flash <laughs> so yeah let's just see how the game is going to continue very soon flash is going to be having three hatcheries perhaps even a fourth one right here as the protoss decides to play it very economic here very defensively here giving protection towards his expansion but this could be punished by a timing push by flash with some zergings with some high risk as only one cannon is currently defending this location right here so very soon Many more cannons might have to be added here by the Protoss as he's transferring more and more uh, probes towards the expansion point. Actually, more and more probes are getting produced here by the Protoss, even a cybernetic score for him. So, we might see some uh, Dragoons. We also have the tier 2 upgrade for Flash. There it is, nicely hidden. So, very smart move by him, hiding this tier 2. So, the probe, of course, scouting the main, not knowing about the 9 o'clock position here for Flash. And I believe he still has no idea about that as the probe is now moving out, perhaps scouting new uh, territory here. And we do see the gateway has been finished and a very early weapons one upgrade. I really like that here from the Protoss as we do see speed on the way and Zerlings also on the way. But in come the probes from the Protoss and now finally you will see that it is indeed a tier 2 upgrade as the drones were already mining here for Flash. So very nicely interesting tier 2 hidden by Flash. Very nicely done. Even a second hatchery here into this location. So very soon he will have four hatcheries as the Proto seems to be wanting to punish the 9 o'clock position. Only one Zergling is moving out. Sorry, one Zealot. But we do, we will see soon, very soon, weapons 1 upgrades for him. And now finally Flash bringing his reinforcements, his Zerglings. But I believe the Proto is just going to try to find a good position here for those uh, units at the same time we might see another attack with another zealot here for the protoss so nice multitask here by the protoss as more and more damage is being dealt towards the zerglings here from the flash 
A very good position found here by the Protoss. Lots and lots of kills for this one Zealot. Four kills. And in comes the second Zealot very soon. Actually, more and more Zealots are getting added. But in the end, Flash seems to be holding on with some great surround maneuver. And we even have some early speed for the Zealot. So quite an interesting uh, move here by the Protoss. Mass gateways. It should be mass Zealots very soon with speed. Very, very deadly early on versus the economy from the Zerg. Flash might be forced to stay back and defend. And his economy might also be under threat very soon as we do see indeed a hatchery sorry a spire actually by him so no hydras then for flash yet as we also see some upgrades for the corsairs into the air quite a interesting uh, build order here for the protos as there is his uh, starport and then you know, all of a sudden he has decided to play it a little bit more defensively allowing flash to flourish here and adding more and more buildings we finally do see the hydras then so still a timing push with some zerglings with some hydras could be an option here for flash as the evolution chamber is nicely added and i believe he could continue with some sunkens into this location to fend off the attack by some fast moving zealots also flash nice nicely creating a sim city build order in order to give protection towards his hatchery i believe some buildings will also follow here very soon. An interesting placement getting chosen here by Flash. Also having a sort of wall of here, making it very, very hard for those zealots to move forward. In comes the push by the Protoss. Weapons 1 is going to be finished very soon. Quite a large number of zealots right here. Scourge nicely uh, scouting this. We do actually see 9 zealots <coughs> with speed. So Flash pretty much knowing all of this. He's going to also try to create more buildings here let's have a look what exactly those zealots can do only two sunken here defending so some reinforcements might have to be added very soon by flash right here so in comes the attack the drones have to be pulled they have to protect the sunken in the back very good movement forward remember we weapons one is getting done is actually done already so very good defense here by flash still however losing a couple of drones the world is now deciding to go for a different location is taking quite some damage but this base right here even much more better defended by the buildings in the front so i believe there will be no chance here for the zealots to inflict some good damage let's see he's still inflicting moving forward here the drones once again have to be pulled sunken are of course the real damage dealer sadly here for but she didn't have so so many um behind to defend so his economy is once again going to suffer look at the work account 46 for the protos 32 only for uh, flash as some scourges try to get some good connections here we do have double star pot actually here for him so the protos might very likely soon try to snipe as many overalls as possible so quite a hard game here for flash he's forced to defend versus a very nice timing push with some zealots of course the zealots have been um, sacrificed in order to inflict damage towards the economy now the wall of is pretty much completed here by flash with lots and lots of units still another creep colony has been added so many creep colonies and actually the corsairs do get some good connections here the flash not really having so so many anti-air only a spore right here the overlords have to hurry up towards the spores but one is already getting sniped here some zerglings are here out now finally the spore is dealing some good damage towards those corsairs in the end another overlord and yet another overall is getting sniped here by the world also very very aggressive move out here firstly starting with fast moving zealots and now with Corsairs pretty much dominating the air, finally some Corsairs will be snapped here. In the end, only two are being left, so the Scourges have to be sacrificed. But he might even be lucky to snap another Overlord here. However, the Spores now will give good protection towards uh, Flash. And very soon we will pass the 10 minute mark, so quite an interesting game. As we see now, a transition to those High Templars. A perfect counter towards the Mass Elgin, but finally a good movement out here by Flash. With his speed links being able to cancel this expansion right here from the protos and inflicting more damage i believe the zerlings might even get a good surround against all of those zealots right here but yeah weapons one zealots are very very strong and even armor as is going to be finished very soon by the protos so yeah quite a interesting game a very aggressive protos adversary here for flash as he's forced to create so so many sunk and so so many spores in order to defend his um, overlord into the air so let's just see how the game is going to continue what is going to happen one lone zealot is going to be snapped here by flash as we even have some dark templars now moving out with some high templars in the front so pretty exposed high templars the 
just needs to be careful not to lose these important units as he's now moving forward i believe once again towards the expansion point he has some zealots he has some corsairs in the air armor also has been done here plus one armor very good upgrade to have as he's moving forward flash drives of course a good uh, flank he's going to very likely try to surround the units from the ports protos but another overload could have been snapped here as the other expansion attempt here by flash is immediately getting cancelled by the opponent so let's just have a look what's going to happen flash trying of course like i told you get a good position he's moving forward pretty much failed high templar storm flash with actually a massive uh, i thought it was a miss micro but in the end he was very smart targeting the high templars and now immediately getting punished by the corsairs into the air snapping three more overlords once again flash is getting supply blocked all those corsairs are doing a great great job and now even the Zealots are moving forward in order to snap one spore. The second spore will also be snapped. Now it's only Hydrolisk in the air versus the air units and three more overlords are falling. Actually massive amounts of overlords will fall here for Flash. Finally speed has been done but at very very low cost and let's have a look what's going to happen. Flash dropping even more and more into the supply here. Pretty much a massive lack of overlords as all of those overlords have been snapped by those Corsair into the air. So very smart move indeed by the Protoss snapping the overlords, keeping flash supply blocked, sacrificing some units of course, but in the end looks like it was worthy. Let's have a look at the answer from flash. Those units are a little bit exposed. Only one cannon actually uh, defending the space right here and in comes the movement out once again with the zealots. We do have however a transition into some lurkers here for flash as the Corsairs are still patrolling the map. Still trying of course to inflict damage towards the overlords. And let's see what's going to happen. Lurkers will of course be very very great. As Flash has to bring his uh, overlords forward towards the attack being guarded by the Hydralisk. And let's have a look what's going to happen here. One Zella dropping really really low. The second one also might get targeted. The Lurkers now finally in range of the units from the Protoss. The Protoss tries of course to micro his units nicely out of danger. A great Storm now has been casted. Flash has to micro his units out of danger. Another great Storm here and lots and lots of splash damage is being taken here by Flash. So great great reaction here by the Protoss. Really very very hard to actually out micro those storms as so much splash damage is being taken. But sadly here for the Protoss he still has only one cannon behind defending. And remember there's lurkers onto the ground for Flash and Hydro is going really really good versus all of the buildings. Look at how fast they melt the gateway the forge and the cannon of oh, income the reinforcements by the protoss is going to drive a good surround a great storm has been casted but the lurkers are still not touched and lots and lots of splash damage is being taken here by the protoss so, so the protoss pretty much throwing everything he has versus flash but it looks like flash seems to be having enough lurkers here to sustain to protect the hydro risk onto the ground and more and more damage is actually being taken here by the protoss nice spread here by the lurkers income the zeds from the back but they already pretty much heard just walking here through a meat grinder and the high risk some of them will fall some zealots will fall here as well but the reinforcement straight on time here for flash as he's moving forward with his lurkers nicely boring them versus the protoss and it seems like a victory move here by flash as his lurkers of course the great supporting units for the high risk and this choke point right here would also take so much splash damage out of the lurkers right here so the expansion is pretty much going to fall here for the Protoss. He still has an expansion right here. Nicely guarded with lots and lots of cannons. But now the production buildings are pretty much getting targeted by all of those Hydras. And the Lurkers as well here. So there is need of an Observer ur urgently here for the Protoss. As sadly he's taking more and more splash damage. Immediately walking out of those, his gateways and just taking damage. And yeah more and more is getting thrown out here. You can see it on the minimap there's just reinforcements pouring forward here for flash from all sides workers are still pretty much intact here as the now the production buildings will be pretty much surrounded very soon by flash even leaving a cocoon here in the front as more and more zealots are getting produced here by the protoss and slowly but steadily flash has to focus onto one gateway even a lurker here targeting the probes and with that beyond of course has to gg out so very interesting game in the end flash proving to have much much more here and still a great start by the protoss with lots and lots of action with those zealots targeting the economy from the opponent and those corsairs let's not forget the great connection by the corsairs but in the end the macro game by flash kicked in he was able to recover great defenses by him nice sim city build orders those spores also giving good protection towards the overall but in the end the corsairs 
were way way too strong however in the end the macro game by flash proving to be much much stronger than his opponent and there we have the result finally flash being able to take a very good game for him right, let's just check the stats very quick just in case you guys are interested once again i'm going to be clicking left and right so very good game by both players an early great game by the protos but in the end flash came back he also suffered Lots and lots of overload casualties with the Cortez in the air. And beyond sadly for him, he didn't have so so many cannons at his first expansion point. He only had one cannon and with that of course, that was an easy target for Flash to move forward with his Hydras, with his Lurkers. And taking quite a convincing game. So yeah, interesting to see Flash play Zerg. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Tommy, signing out.